A University of Otago academic has just won Australia's leading award for history writing, joining an elite group of New Zealanders with the prize. History academic Dr Angela Wanhala was named the winner of the Ernest Scott Prize on Friday. She joins us tonight to talk about her work. Good evening, congratulations. Thank you very much. Tell us about your award winning book. Well, it's called Matters of the Heart and it's a history of interracial marriage in New Zealand covering 200 years of history right from early contact uh, when James Cook arrived and some of the whalers and sealers who followed him right through into the 1960s, early 1970s. I'm not very good at contemporary history so I don't tend to keep away from things that are very recent past. Mm. Yeah. What prompted you to write this book? Well, first of all, Going back way back to my PhD was 10 years ago, I did some research on a community from Otago, so I got very interested in the history of intermarriage there. And part of the reason I did that is for personal reasons, that's where my family has connections mm. to. So my father is Māori and my mother is Pākehā, so I grew up in a, a family of mixed marriage basically, so I was really interested in thinking about how my parents' relationship fitted into a longer kind of historical context because we were one of the unusual families in my uh, community in which I grew up. Mm. So I was, didn't think about that when I was a kid, but I was very interested when I went to university and, to, and studied history to think about them in that context. Have you been writing this book since you did your PhD? Not really. I was uh, very lucky to have a Royal Society of New Zealand Marsden grant that I was awarded in 2007 to allow me to do a big project like Matters of the Heart covering 200 years of history mm. which uh, allowed me to concentrate for several years on the project so it took me about five years right mm. until publication in 2013. Why do you think mm. interracial marriage is important in our history? Several reasons but I'll only give you a couple. Um, first of all because interracial marriage is seen to be foundational to our story. Uh, it's happened ever since Pākehā and Māori came together, so I wanted to understand it in that context. And we often talk about interracial marriage as being common in New Zealand as well, mm. so I thought it was really important to think about it in a historical uh, sense to see what's happening in contemporary times and make those links back to what's happened in the past. So it seemed to be foundational and I think that's really important to explore and analyse. What mm -hmm. did you discover when writing the book? That intermarriage has certainly been very, very important right from the beginning. And one of the most important things about New Zealand is that we never prohibited it. So mm. in other places like the United States, they had laws against it, and also in Australia. But New Zealand was very unusual. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we're tolerant. So there was a lot of stigma attached to interracial marriage throughout the 19th and early 20th century, mm. often attached to ideas about race. So there was a stigma, but there was also a tolerance for it, which is a really interesting combination. So I think that's one of the more important findings. And in more contemporary times, we're seeing a rise in interracial marriage as well, as New Zealand society is becoming much more multicultural, and we're all living together in big cities mm. and meeting each other constantly. So we're seeing a, a kind of significant shift taking place in, in recent years, which looks very different to the 19th century, where we didn't have the same kind of cosmopolitan society that we have today. How does it feel to gain this recognition? It's really wonderful. I, it's overwhelming. I feel like I've won lotto, actually. <laughs> um, and I feel I was so delighted and so pleased to um, have won this recognition. Um, I don't think of myself as a writer. I think of myself as a researcher. Mm. So it's really nice to have an award that's about one's writing. So, um, and often historians, we tend to think of ourselves as researchers. Mm. So it's actually really lovely recognition in that sense. So I'm really, really pleased and delighted. And the prize is mm. worth about $13,000? 13000 Australian, which is wow. not quite nice. Mm. Yeah. What are you going to do with that money? I have no idea. <laughs> I went to the bank on Monday and put it in the bank. Um, and what the wonderful thing about it is I get to spend it on myself and my family, which I oh, think I'll, nice. I'll do. So um, mm. I'm still thinking about that the moment. Any other books in the pipeline? Oh, uh, lots. Lots and lots of projects. I'm working on a fantastic project about World War II New Zealand brides who went to the United States. So I'm trying to trace some of those folks and see what happened to them. So I'm continuing to do work on marriage and private life. Dr. Mm. Angela Wanhala, congratulations once again. Thanks for your time. Thank you.